What is up you guys, John here for Obese to Beast. Thank you so much for checking out week five and six of the squad series. Yes, I mashed these two weeks together because I do what I want and it's my channels and that's what I felt like doing. So <laughs> I just wanna have a huge shout out at the beginning of this video just to Silent Mike for thank you so much, man. If you're watching this for writing the program and everything, I really appreciate it. So if you guys don't know, he's been writing my programming and everything for my squats and my deadlifts. So totally free of charge. He's just doing it because he wants to help me out. And I really appreciate that. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out his channel, he has his own channel now. So go ahead, check that out down below. But as you can see, I am squatting twice a week now, not three times anymore. So you'll see the pounds in the bottom left hand side of the screen if you feel like you want to know what kind of weight I'm working with but I don't even really want to talk about the squats in general because I feel like you guys can see them They're, they feel really good and I'm really happy with how they've been going but I want to talk about finding weak points and um, it's something that's hard to do I think even especially like as a man right uh, you don't want to look at your weak points you always like especially for me I don't know what it is maybe I'm maybe you guys are similar to me but if I find a weak point, it's almost like naturally I want to just cover it up. You know, you don't want to address it. It's not something that you're just like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and make a video about this and put it out there. But um, it's something that I found out, I, I think, recently. Obviously, doing um, my loose skin video, not trying to keep talking about that too much. But um, through the loose skin video, I found out that the more genuine you are and the more honest you are to yourself, the more people you can reach the more people you can help and honestly that's what I, I i believe honestly my channel is about now and and what i want it to be about is about helping other people so i feel like the more genuine you are and the more that you you're honest with yourself so if you have a weak point like mine was well, squats and um i mean still obviously it's not like they're good they're perfect at all you know i'm not trying to say that but they're definitely better than they were before um that's something that you should definitely work on. That's something that you should definitely not be uh, afraid to uh, to address and uh, to show people that hey, I have something that I'm working on, and uh, I'm not afraid to to show you that. You know, uh, day number two coming up right now. All right, we're back. <laughs> but yeah, if you have, if you have anything that that you might you might feel is is maybe oh this is bad like I, I I need to work on this but I don't want to let anyone know I feel like it's always good to 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 let people know what's what's going on in your life and what and always always try because it's like I feel like if you're always trying to better yourself there's there's no way you're perfect right obviously everyone knows that everyone knows that nobody is perfect so it, you should always be finding like there's a there's a saying back in the day um, or back in the day, there's a saying now about back in the day that like if you if you feel like your armor is perfect, if you like the chainmail armor, if you're never trying to fix the links, then you're obviously just being you're being lazy. You know, you're not you're not doing what you're supposed to because no no suit of armor is ever fixed. It's never perfect. There's always something that you can work on, and I, I really believe that. Um, I'm not even talking about my squats anymore. Um, I am kind of, but I'm talking about just yourself in general. There's always something to improve, and th th that's not a bad thing. That's that's a good thing, especially if you're willing to improve it, and you're willing to put in the work that it will take to improve that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's nothing wrong with not being perfect, because nobody is perfect. And we are in week number two. Oh wait, no, I'm doing, I'm doing abs here, you guys. All right, now we're in week number two. <laughs> And so I just, I really feel like this is something that has been shown to me almost like, it's like, I, I, I'm just so excited to share this with people and to, to show people, I get really excited when I find something that's, that's, not, that's, that's not perfect with me and something that I can work on because it means that that is a, another chance for me to get even stronger and even better in in anything that it is like obviously if we're just talking about this video squats was something that i was so embarrassed of and so like you guys remember the first video how it was really i was honestly nervous to talk about it i was nervous to even bring it up and uh, i remember just you're always more scared than than you need to be like i remember i thought people were gonna be like 
wow like, come on man you're not you're not squatting it was everyone was very positive they gave me so much advice everyone's helped me out so so much so like i wasn't even i you you always i think think the worst out of people before you you think the best and that's something that i'm still working on too um it's a lot to work on and now we're at the last day All right, we are back. This is actually today. Um, I'm recording this voiceover at like midnight, <laughs> but you know, whatever. It's all good. Uh, today was pretty tough, to be honest. I was uh, I was pretty fatigued. My my hamstrings are still pretty sore from doing deadlifts a few days ago, um, and I was doing stiff leg deadlifts as well, which I don't know. They just tear up my hamstrings like crazy. So they still like they just they're sore for. A days and days like last time I did stiff leg my 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 um my hamstrings were literally sore all the way up until I had to do do it again so for six days they were sore so that wasn't fun but I did uh one 185 pounds was the working weight um nothing too crazy just between 8 to 12 reps um I was only able to get eight um I think maybe it might be because I am at a uh, caloric deficit still so I mean I don't know what I want to do about that I'm, I'm not sure if I should go up to maintenance or maybe even go into a lean bulk phase uh, it's just something that's kind of it's almost hard for me to like bulking for me is something that's gonna be a mind game more than anything and I know that and I, I'm I'm I I'm there's nothing wrong with that and I just know that I need to definitely buckle down because because bulking I, I've seen people that have lost a lot of weight that end up trying to bulk and then it, it just goes completely wrong and they end up just gaining fat because they just start eating and eating and eating like they used to um, which I, I don't want that to happen to me and I, I really want to take it very very slowly and and take it very seriously so I, that's something that's pretty much been on my mind recently is what I want to do about uh, calories that I'm eating and stuff like that so that's kind of just a little insight but I just wanted to talk about the whole subject about uh, working on anything that you need to work on don't be afraid about about failing don't be afraid about any of that stuff so I hope you guys help like the video I hope the whole like not talking about the squats was cool with you guys uh, thank you so 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 much for checking out the video there was one other thing that I wanted to say what was it oh yeah look up off I am <laughs>